Welcome to Hill Talk Tuesdays with Lisa, where transformation begins as we evoke, embrace, and evolve. Greetings, 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 and welcome to Hill Talk Tuesdays. This is Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Well, welcome to another Hill Talk Tuesday. For those of you who do not know me, I'd like to introduce myself. I'm Lisa Bubari, your expert clinical hypnotherapist, stress management consultant. Yes. I'm Lisa Bubari, and this is the 3E event. Journey within and harness your inner power September 29th and 30th at the Western Rancho Mirage Resort and Spa. Get your tickets today at the3eevent.com. Yes. Uh, so many are asking uh, what is going on in your life, what's happening in the healing world. So last night I was watching TV and uh, as we were about to turn off the TV, uh, I turned around and said, I want to see what's happening in the news. Well, have you watched the news lately? Do you realize the news is no news except all the negative things, all the stressor things, all the things that are happening and it's all negative. It is about accidents. It's about, um, it's about all the, all the bad things that are happening and it's at the prime time, which is 11 o'clock when people watch the news right before they go to sleep, right? So do you realize all this, uh, the media, the way they do the news, of course, they have to do the promo and they do this highlights with all this um, mega scaring, uh, watch the news, the breaking news, breaking news, this is what's happening. And all the words are like giving you an excitement, but it's a negative excitement. So. How do we function in life? How does our mind, how does our body work? As a clinical hypnotherapist, most of my clients that come here, when they come here literally to make a change in their life, they want a change for the better. When I ask them, what do you want? Can you believe that majority say, I want peace? I want calmness. I want peace in my life. So here's my question to you. How often do you have peace in your daily life, at night, with the family, at work, within yourself? So how much of a me time do you have for yourself to bring that peace? It's uh, even if you go exercising or running, is that bringing you peace? So nowadays, there's this negative spiral that it's happening. And believe it or not, there is a word. It's been dubbed dooms scrolling. So you know how you scroll on website and on uh, social media, on Instagram, on Facebook, or even scrolling on TV. And this in itself can take a toll on your mental state, on your calmness, on your state of relaxation. Because studies have showed uh, that the consumption of bad news, it increases uh, distress, anxiety, and depression. So someone's asked me, we were d doing this scrolling and everything Sunday. I was with some friends and they said, did you see what happened here? Did you see what this person is doing? So even this, even if it is not a doomsday message like the news with nothing but murder, mayhem, accidents, uh, robbery, uh, because that's your breaking news nowadays. It's news is not good news is not news right in life so even people who are scrolling and uh looking 
can you believe it? Somebody saying, you know, it's boring. Birthdays are boring. Anniversaries are boring. Ah, when something becomes like this is juicy is that somebody's sick. When somebody is had an accident. When the pictures are this negative pictures. So, I know that's news. That's not my news. That's not what grabs my attention. Because what I think about, what I look for is how I can better myself. How I can relax myself. How I can inform myself. How can I be inspired? So let's think about it. The exposure to bad news for you, for your children, for no matter where you are, that bad news can cause acute stress and the reactions you may not feel it but let's say you watch the news and then your body all the hair which is like antennas without you thinking about it it gets the messages you get the messages your eyes visually you get the messages auditory you get the messages and after watching all that without thinking about it you get stressed and most people when they get stressed they do certain things they either they're either uh, they get all agitated and they have a conversation that's agitating without realizing they're already agitated um, they can uh, get into an argument they either go and smoke or they go and grab something to eat because now the emotions are heightened or they can't sleep so it this also increases your distress it increases your anxiety and it can also affect you becoming depressed because the exposure to bad news causes acute stress to the symptoms of we call it PTSD right it doesn't have to happen to you every single day but without you realizing this breaking news if you are watching it in the morning from waking up the first thing you do is scroll dooms scrolling if you are looking at your phone your social media who did what who said what this person is better than me this person is doing this they're doing that it creates this internal agitation again affecting insomnia your sleep pattern affecting anxiety creating internal anxiety and unsettling it creates worry about what's happening in your life if there is robberies happening around your neighborhood if there is breaking news of all this negativity it's called internal panic hmm plus one thing people don't realize it creates it brings your blood pressure up so when you are heightened when you are nervous how do you relax right away believe me smoking and alcohol does not relax you right away some people say i can't sleep without a sleeping pill really why do you have to do that because i'm so stressed i can't sleep so let's take a deep breath hmm what do we do when we are stressed and I know the worst thing you can tell someone is relax it's like stop telling me to relax because I am upset when we have conversations of like some people saying oh my god I had my the favorite movies that I watch is this CSI's and murders and crimes that it's happening great and then if you do that right before sleep and then you wonder why you cannot sleep right so what can you do I would ask you to realize 
if it is affecting your sleep pattern, then shut off. Stop looking at the news, of breaking news, of doom scrolling right before you go to sleep. Even when they say listen to empowering things and everything, no. Listen to nothing or white noise, um, sounds that are calming, and even when you get to bed, listen to your own breath, and if you think, I can't shut my mind off, here's one thing you can do. You close your eyes and you hum. Um. Because this small little vibration, it vibrates not only all this, it vibrates your mind and all that small little nerves right around your brain. It vibrates your body. It vibrates every essence of your nervous system. You can do it right now with me. And you don't even have to do um. It's just um. Ah. U. M. Um. Of course, I can do a long one because I've been practicing not only doing this vibration, it's the same vibration I use when I do my Ruth Canals with absolutely no anesthesia, no topical. It's the vibration that vibrates my tiny little nerves and realizing this a U M this ah of ah you internally M movement the movement of the mind body the essence of everything that becomes one with who you are and seeing the connection of who I am in mind and body and emotions so this vibration that you create, the spiral from the negativity, from bad news, you spiral inside within yourself. And this creates this beautiful internal peace, deep state of relaxation. So if you want peace so that you can sleep better, that your blood pressure drops, that you have a sense of calm within yourself. I would like you to do this small little technique of vibrating with um. And then this inner connection and knowing all is well. It's called inner trust. And relaxes all your organs every nerve, every muscle, every organ, every tissue, every cell, every molecule in your body begins to vibrate in your in your control, not outside forces, not outside visions that impact with all this negativity, but the vibration within you. And relaxing up all your organs, not to over function, but in the meantime, you create this beautiful sense of uh, inner peace. Hi, Seda John. Thank you so much. This is beyond powerful. Thank you. You are welcome. So, understanding as children, when you pick up a child, 
and you want to help this child to sleep, what do you do? Mm. Or you go, mm. Mm. and we forget that as adults, we do the same thing and we can bring that same essence of calmness within. So in an essence, what is it that I do with my clients? I help them, I guide them to bypass this critical factor, which is analyzing and judging, criticizing and reasoning to bypass that state. So instead of analyzing and judging, criticizing and reasoning and all that, you bypass it to go to a state of calmness to create that inner peace within yourself so that you can drift because we don't go from wow heightened state to sleep even I even as a rapid induction there's two ways of inducing someone into a state of relaxation which I have done both ways with my clients and practicing over 21 years as a clinical hypnotherapist. And it's not a weekend hypnotherapist. And it's realizing when you say transformation begins, what is transformation? Transformation is not that I take you and I say one thing and today you're this and tomorrow you're something else. No. Transformation is your own internal transformation. A lot of people have no understanding what is transformation. Are you going to make me transform to this place? No. What I do is give you tools and techniques. Hypnosis is just an internal process of self-hypnosis. You go in and out of hypnosis every single day. But hypnosis is just another technique for you to relax yourself, calm yourself, to go from this state of analyzing, judging, criticizing, reasoning factor to a state that you feel calm, you feel serene, you feel at peace, so that you have this mind-body connection and find that peace within yourself so you can make changes. The changes happen within yourself. We're just a guide. I'm just a guide. I'm the person who takes you from here to here, bridges where you need to go. That's it. Okay? So when I say journey within, I want you to understand a lot of people take my words and yes, in the self-help world, there are so many who use the same words. Of course, there's also words that are used over all the time. So my business that I have been promoting as Heal Within is because I healed myself and I work with people who truly want to heal. Heal does not mean that it's um, today I am this, tomorrow I am something else. No. Healing is an internal self-acceptance. So if you want to become a non-smoker, if you want to sleep better and you have insomnia and the pills, if you want to stop the pills that you are taking and find a natural way and you can't do it without that, let's see what's stopping you from sleeping. If it is the news. Stop watching the news at night before you sleep. Do it during the day so you can find other ways that help you and guide you and assist you in sleeping better. So back to the point of healing, transforming and there is two ways of going into that state. One is progressive, which is easily guiding you because there's two types of people. 
There's people who want fast. And if they are in a state that they want to, let's get to the point, I can easily do a rapid induction, which is like sleep now and take them into a state of complete relax and then do the technique of relaxing, taking them deeper and deeper, deeper and deeper, faster because their mind functions so fast. Or there's people who really are that state that they need to get comfortable, they need to feel as if they are comfortable with the therapist, with the room, with themselves, and they need to talk and slowly, easily, gradually go into that state of inner trust, inner self. Then they are in that state of deep relaxation, fully relaxed, fully. So is hypnosis something that it's an external force? Not at all. You give yourself permission to go there. Just as I've said. You go in and out of hypnosis every single day. You watch TV. You zone in. You're in that Zen state. You are driving a stretch of where you are going. From the moment you sit in the car, you know where you're going. And you're not paying attention to the uh, to the address anymore because you already know your destination so you start driving and if it's a long stretch you get into that zone you're listening to the music you start singing that song and you get to your destination that's called Zen state you go into a zone you get into that focus state so all this to say there is no magic pill every one of us is unique we're all unique so to help you understand hypnosis self-hypnosis even using this technique of om will help you bring your blood pressure down if you feel anxious do this om technique allow your body and mind to connect and disconnect from the outside so you are one with you. When you become one with yourself and are centered with yourself, realize that doing all kinds of massage is great because we're touching. Energy work is wonderful. Acupuncture is wonderful. All of these, it's not a one pill to solve everything the alternative healing modalities hypnotherapy is science-based acupuncture is science-based it's not woo-woo to say oh you're doing this energy healing and everything no because i also believe every single thing if you believe it it is powerful for you some say if you go to a meditation, meditation helps, yoga helps. So all this alternative healings that we are talking about, they are an augmentation to all other therapies. In a way, even the strongest thing that there is, prayer. Prayer helps when you believe in something you become the believer and when you are believing in something and you see the result and you become a believer then you've already healed that's when the healing begins anyone can tell you anything you can come to hypnosis some people say that doesn't work acupuncture doesn't work this doesn't work oh even whatever chiropractic don't go to a chiropractor because it's not about cracking and everything so in a way even doctors make mistakes even pills not all pills work right so that's why they say 
try this after a while and come I'll up the dose lower the dose because maybe we need to give you a different pill so there is not one thing that is the answer to everything but in a way because you are the master you are the master of your mind and of your body and of your emotions I will say take control and be so precise in knowing what is good for you and if you have to try different elements different modalities then do so but also know what is best watching TV breaking news that it's not the best for your body for your health for your sleep for your nerves especially children make sure that they are not watching things that it's impacting them visually auditory that also affects them with having bad dreams and waking up with anxiety not knowing what they are anxious about even lots of commotion at home fighting at home even though it's not affecting them directly when they hear it they create everything in their own brain visualizing it creating it affecting their body I work with children that are constantly stressed and no one can understand why you know what sometimes when we tap into their subconscious mind which is the core that holds all that information it's so easier for them to speak from the heart and connect to their emotions right so that's what hypnosis is it's an internal internal way of connecting with experiences images moments information stored in your mind that you have forgotten that has been affecting you so if you have something in your life or know someone who wants to make a change for the better for the healthier for advancement and wants a better focus in their life by all means give me a call my name is Lisa and I am here to help you heal within to make that transformation as we say so that you can break barriers negative stuff to be the best healthier stronger more successful in everything that you want to achieve and I mean achieve so um just like the waves in the ocean all the waves that come to shore and believe it or not they also recede back into the ocean to the deepest level and there is this beautiful rhythm that the ocean has and that rhythm is within you my name is Lisa Bubari and I look forward to seeing you next week on Hill Talk Tuesday until next week I bid you goodbye God bless you and may the universal light surround you goodbye I'm Lisa Bubari and this is the 3E event. Journey within and harness your inner power September 29th and 30th at the Western Rancho Mirage Resort and Spa. Get your tickets today at the 3eevent.com. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some 
of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here.